thank you for your enthusiasm. Amen. Psalms 119, verse 97. Oh, how I love thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Thou, through thy commandments, hath made me wiser than mine enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep thy precepts. I have refrained my feet from every evil way, that I might keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me. How sweet are thy words unto my taste. Yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, the hearing, and the doing of his word.
thank God for all who were able to come in. If you could at this time, um, this would be a reading if you could turn to the back of your hymnals to 562. And when you get that, you can stand. If you don't have your Bible with you, you can go to your Bible app or you can look at your own Bible and you can go to the Gospel of Matthew, the 25th chapter, verses 14 through 30. That is Matthew, the 25th chapter, verses 14 Everybody have to get an amen. amen. For the kingdom of heaven is a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents. But he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliveredest unto me five, me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee thou art an hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not straw. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I, I sow not, and gather where I have not straw. Take therefore the talent from him and give it unto him which hath ten talents. And we can read together. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness, that shall be weeping and gnashing of the teeth. Amen. May God bless the hearers and doers of his holy word. Could you greet somebody, give somebody a hug, tell them to show their 32, their 22, or whatever you have left, tell them that God love you. And I'm going to ask that y'all stick with me because I'm going to just let the Holy Spirit lead. I've been, I sit up all night, I'm like, Lord, what you want me to say, what you want me to do, what you want me to say, what you want me to do? And, and Brother Green, you always sing this song, Falling in Love with Jesus. Falling in Love with Jesus. Falling in Love with Jesus. God is so awesome. God is so awesome. And I'm going to try to give you a little talk, a little bit of that song. But before I give it to you, I want you to really think about it. Because that's my topic. Falling in love with Jesus. It's the best thing that ever happened to me. Falling in love with Jesus is the best thing 
that ever happened to me. Falling in love with Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus is the best thing I ever, ever done. Falling in love with Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus is the best thing I ever ever done oh in his arms I feel protected in his arms I've never never been disconnected <laughs> in his arms I feel there is no place I'd rather, rather be. Oh, falling in love. Y'all can help me if you want to. Jesus, falling in love with Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. In his arms, mm. I feel protected. Thank you, Lord. In his arms, I've never, 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 never been rejected. Hey! In his arms, I feel protected. Is no place I'd rather, rather be. Hey, let me say that again. In his arms, I feel protected. In his arms, I've never, never been rejected. In his arms. I feel protected. There's no place I'd rather, rather be. Oh, falling in love with Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Falling in love with Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus is the best thing I ever, ever done. Yeah. It's the best thing I ever, ever done. Hey, hey, hey. It's the best thing I ever, ever done. Falling in love with Jesus. Anybody ever been in love? Anybody ever think they, do you think you're in love right now? But have you really ever been in love? You know, when you're in love with somebody, brother shared you, you tend to forget where you at. You know, whatever they need, you chase it behind them. Whatever they want. 
but you giving it to them. You know, I imagine these women would love to fall in love with a man that gave them every need that they wanted and supplied them with all of the fancy trips when they got ready, but didn't love them. What if a man find the best woman that he ever think he could love and give her all the things. Uh, she would just clean up the house and have a meal for you and grab the water when you need it and just whatever you needed, but didn't love you. Didn't love you. That's a question. Are we truly in love with Jesus? Are we truly in love with Jesus? I'm going to be coming from a couple of verses. I ain't going to spend for you long because I want to know if you're in love with Jesus. And the verse is going to be coming from Matthew 22, 37. And you need to keep your seat and say, Jesus replied, listen, love the Lord God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first greatest commandment. The first greatest commandment. Matthew 22, 37. Deuteronomy, do you want to go back that far? Chapter 6. Start from 5 and go all the way down to 7. It talks about loving God with all your being and with all that you have. Yeah. That sounds like falling in love with somebody, don't it? Not, not with just words, not with just actions, but with your whole body and soul is loving on God. And, 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 and you have to step outside of your zone because, you know, some of us have been married 40 years. Or, how long have you been married, Brother Hopkins? 49. 49. I, I just picked on you, Brother Hopkins. I looked around real quick. I think you might have been the oldest, oldest married couple, Brother Dips, and still. 60. They got you. They got you. 60 something years. And, but when brother Dilla or sister Dilla still looking at each other, do they still see that first love? That first love. Uh, uh, we done had some wars down between the time, the first love. Some trials and tribulations down between the first love. But then God say, listen here, you got to love me with your whole being. Your whole heart. The heart is the vessel, the biggest vessel that we have. That's in the center of our being. That pumps the vessel, the blood through our whole body. He said, love me with your whole heart. Forsaking others. You're going to have to give up something to love on the Lord with your whole heart. Now, on down that verse, it say neighbor, but today we ain't going to work on the neighbor. And I ain't Reverend Robert, so I can't come back with a second. So, but if we get that first right, that second will fall in place. But today, I just want to see if you love the Lord. 
with your whole heart. That means that that you get. I never forget. I, I was telling somebody that that Sister Lillian Branch. Uh, uh, some of them might remember. She she was here one day for a women's conference that I gave, and Sister Branch says I got up this morning, and I said to my love, I love you. She said, and he just easily said, I love you back. And she said, let's go have some coffee. She said, and I went to my table. And she said, when I set my table up, I set my table up with two cups and two saucers. And I set a saucer over there, and I set a cup over there. And I, I, I set my saucer in my cup, and I said to my lover, we're going to have some coffee. Right. We're going to suck together. <laughs> Ah, see, see, falling in love. Uh, we're going to sit down, Mondrell, and we're going to eat together. And I'm just going to love on you, huh, while you love on me. See, see, we get this thing wrong. See, when we think of intimacy, we always think of the sex word. Oh, yeah. But see, when you get intimacy with God, that's going into another realm. Uh, that's getting outside of this outside realm that you have and realizing that, God, I need to step over just a little bit further. The baptism and the water and the spring, all of that is good, okay? Yeah, I didn't accept the Jewish my saying, all of that is good, okay? You are saved, but baby, get a little bit further than saved because if you don't, you're going to backslide. So you got to learn to fall in love with Jesus. And that is a commandment. That is a commandment to love him and to love on him. And I say, Lord, do you want me to say all of this? You know, I speak off a lot. This is what they get. You know, I'm just going to get ugly with them. This is what they get. But I said, Lord, with my Molly, he said, let them know they need to get in love. They need to fall in love. Yeah, we saved, but it ain't going nowhere. See, 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 if, if, it was, if we was really in love with Jesus, church would be full. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be sometime. It wouldn't be needing something sometime. Uh, Reverend Roberts wouldn't need nobody to help us sometime. See, when we in love with Jesus, everything that Jesus loved, you love. So, so, so we just need to learn how to fall in love with Jesus. And that means forsaking. I love my husband. Her husband's sitting over here. I love my children. But you know what? I have to release them back into the hands of the Father because he loved them just more than I do. Because, see, God said you can't have two masters. See, you will either love one and hate the other. So that let me know, God, I can't serve two beings. Because, Lord, if I serve one more than I serve you, you said that you are a jealous God. So, so keep me in line, God. I don't want to love a uh, brother Delonian more than I love you. I don't want to love brother Griffin uh, more than I love you, God. I, I need to hear from you, Lord. I need to love on you, God. I need to get in a quiet spot so I can hear you, God. You got to get in a quiet spot. So you can hear God. Yeah. You got to get somewhere and be still. You got to realize that God is just more than a God. You talking about a man of creation. The man that created the heavens and the earth. Oh, God is more than a, a little lamb. Uh, that laid down. He is the lamb too. I want you to know that. See, he came here as a lamb. Uh, you saved your soul and my soul. But oh my God, when he coming back, he's coming back as a royal lamb to devour that same man that loved you. Walk around hypocrite and that same man that loved you going to come back and eat you up. 
But God wants you to know that you need to fall in love with him. You need to get intimacy with him. You need to get along and get inside of him. So that you will know that he is God and there is no other. See, that's what we need to get, church. And see, and then when we come out, oh, a while ago, all them songs that Brother Green sung, you know, I used to, Amazing Grace, I used to sit back and say, oh, God, hurry up, get through it, Amazing Grace. That's so old. Oh, Jesus, that's so old. I had to hurry up, get through that old song. But all I get, ha, ah, the Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. That save a wretch like me. I once was lost, ah, but now I'm found. I you hear me? I'm found, church. I am victorious in Christ Jesus. I am more than a conqueror. You better hear me. See, when you fall in love with Jesus and you get to know him forever, you put your army suit on. Because there's a war going on. And God needs some people on the battlefield. And they can't be no cowards. And you can't do it if you ain't in love with him. You can't do it if you ain't in love with him. You got to put your arm on. You got to be able to love God. You got to have your prayer spread a righteous song. You got to be able to walk in victorious. Anything that come up against you, you ought to be able to strike it down. Why? Because I'm in love with Jesus. And he's in love with me. He said, and if you are in me, and the Father's in you, I'm in the Father, the Father's in you. Don't you know who all you got wrapped up in you? If you love God. If you are in love with God. He said, I would rather for you to be cold or hot. We set up in a lukewarm church. Why, Sister Brother? Because God said we don't love him. Our lips is honor and praise, but our hearts are far from him. We're going through a formality. Because, see, when I really get inside and can love on, on Jesus, you know, I don't care who looking. I don't care what you say. Because, see, I know who I am. I know whose I am. I know who I belong to. And see, when I really realize that, God, you are my all in all. Oh, God, I just want to love on you. Falling in love with Jesus. None of us really care. This is what we need, church. We need to get in place to love on God. You can't love something you don't know about. And if you never pick the word up and read it, you don't know what you got to love on. You don't know what you're supposed to be loving on. If you're going by what I say, what Shad say, what Brother Watson say, what Brother Deloney say, what Reverend Robert say, what Brother uh, 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 Palmer say, then let me tell you something, you have to be lost. This thing is a personal battlefield. And when you open your Bible up and read for yourself and see what God really loves you, it's a whole nother game. It's a whole nother game, church. He said, with your whole heart. With your whole heart. The first four commandments, God said, Thou shall have no other gods before me. Oh, we ain't talking about the little owl gods and big boot with the big stomach and all that stuff. And, you know, we ain't talking about them. But we all, oh, them, them idols, we ain't going to worship them, them thing. Them thing what the Bible's talking about. Yeah, yeah them thing what the yeah. Bible's talking about, my daddy. That thing with that big belly. You know, we, we ain't going to worry about that. that that's what the idols, that's what the, You'll do the neighbor part. It's already covered. That part is already covered with the love. But I thank you. And uh, I just I just praise God for you. Uh, we ready for the benediction? I'm glad to see Sister Dilla. I'm glad to see you, Sister Dilla. I'm going to shout a 
continue to keep my uncle in prayer, my family. for your word. We thank you, God, for just for your blessing that's come poured down on us. Now, Father, we ask that you would just go with us and be with us as we leave one another. Father, that we come back together again. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 All of them, the little bitty things, iPhone, TV, cars, clothes. Yeah, well, don't make no idols. You know, okay? Yeah, 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 that thing now we cut up all of the new hairdos we got on our head. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, yeah, we spend more time giving them money than we give God money. I'm just being honest with you. Yeah, yeah, I'm just being honest with you. We buy the shoes, we buy the soup, we buy the tie to make the soup, the soup to make the tie. But see, that when it come up to God, we, we really don't know how to open up our heart and just give to it. So those things become more idols to us. Following the children gang, running behind the kids gang. Oh, my child got this, they got that. Them things become idols to them. I had to ask the Lord to fix me. I told my children, I said, listen, I done put my time in with the games. I love my grandkids. I done put my time in with the game. I said, y'all go on and put y'all time in now. No, don't let my grandma didn't show up, get mad, well, she didn't show up my grand. Baby, please, I done put my time in. This your daddy mama time now. Come on. I'm trying to get closer to Jesus and pray for you for what you're going to have to go through. You're going to need somebody to be praying for you. So I'm going to stay out here on the sideline at home and pray for you. At home, on the sideline. My sideline at home. See, why so gripping? Because God done popped me out of that stuff. So we have to learn. When God bring you out of something, don't go back in it. Why? Because it becomes our own God to us. We get to worship in the wrong thing. We get to looking for love all in the wrong place. God should not make any graven image. You know, be careful with graven image. Oh Lord, I never forget. Honey, you I used to my grandmother now, you know, we back in the old day. Boy, you couldn't touch that Jesus pitch. You better not touch that Lord's Supper pitch. Ah, leave that alone, get a whoop get a toe up whoop for touching pitches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go over there and touch grandma pitching. That's my grandma put that pitching. I'm just looking at the pitching. <laughs> see, 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 we don't look at those things and become an image in idol stools. You can't touch it. What's wrong with it? <laughs> it become images, become idol stools. So we have to, we have, we can't do that. And then he said, listen, the love of the Lord, when thou shalt not take no name of the Lord in vain. Love the Lord with all thy heart. Do not take the Lord's name in vain. Do we really know what we say? Do we really know what we mean when we say don't take the Lord's name in vain? You know, we always, we always say, you know, brother, 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 how can I preach everywhere, brother Hawkins? 
No, I'm trying to say it wherever I'm you want me, I'll preach it where. Oh my, because you invite me, I'm coming in. <laughs> but let me tell you, when you go into certain people, put churches, they ready for the prophet and the prophetess and the brotherless and get down and look, uh, come on up and then they ready to pray for you. Then they want you to tell them, God is finna bless you abundantly and above and more. I ain't got time, Andrea. What do you need the Lord to do for you? When they come to my line, I ain't got time to be telling no lies. What do you want the Lord to do for you? What you need from the Lord? Blasphemy. Prophet lie. That's what I call him, Prophet lie. I done had a whole bunch of Prophet lie to me. I ain't seen them. <laughs> ain't seen them. I ain't seen them. Gonna be rich. Our Lord, I be, come on, Lord, with it. Come on. It's still time. I'm still here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, but you know, we have to be careful. We're using the Lord's name in vain. Yeah. Lord told me this. Yeah. Lord told me to say this. You know, that's using the Lord's name in vain. These children. Oh, my God. Becky. <laughs> oh my God. OMG. Then, 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 then you get on them for saying, don't use the Lord's name in vain. Then they think they get funny when they just put OMG. Oh. Like God ain't the man that, that spells. He ain't the man that made words. Come on, come on. How, how dumb do you think he is? He ain't the word. He is the word, baby. He, it ain't no word that he don't know. Because you open him up, he say he ain't nothing but word. But we, 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 get, we get beside ourselves because we think we can just put some niches in there and don't say the word. Blasphemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, church. We got to get better than this. We got to get better than this. We got to love on God. And if we ever learn to love God the way that God want to be loved, listen. God will give you more than you would ever ask for. He, he said, ask. Ask. And you shall receive. Simple. But let me tell you something. You can't ask and just went out with Jody. You can't ask and just came in from Susie. You, 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 you can't do that. Why? Because I'm standing in Filled. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm standing, I'm standing in, in sin. But we expect God to bless us. God say, that's when I know that you don't love me. That's the reason I know that you don't love me. Psalm Proverbs 8 and 17 said, I love those who love me and those who seek me find me. In Josh and in, 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 uh, Solomon, yeah. the love book, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, when you read that, it just Oh God, I'm chasing you. Yes. Yeah. Oh God. Oh Lord, Jesus, you're chasing after me. Well, I mean, that's a lot. Why we? You chasing after me? If I'm chasing, you chasing after me. I must be at the wrong place. Let me turn around. Yeah, I won't be chasing after you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, have you seen my love? Have you seen my love? I'm seeking for my love. <sighs> That's falling in love with Jesus, church. Amen. That's not falling in love with these little 16 and 17 year old boys and 15 and 13 year old boys. That's not love. That's not love. Real love is God. Real love is God. And, and, when, and when we start seeking him, guess what? We'll find him. And you know what? And you ain't got to go far. Because he said, knock. 
All you got to do is turn around from your sin. Say, Lord, look here. You know me. I don't know you. I'm trying to get to. But you know me. And Lord, right now, I don't know what me doing. I don't know what I'm doing. But God, I'm looking for you. And everybody that I done talked to, I couldn't find. They didn't have a good word to say. Why we don't never have a good word? Because God said there is power, there is life and death in the power of the tongue. And the church peoples are so negative. So when they come to the church, they can't find Jesus because nobody, don't get mad at me, nobody got Jesus in them. We say, yeah, yeah. but we ain't in love with him. Because when you're in love with him, you got a word to tell about him, baby. You got a testimony to tell what he done for you. Yeah, yeah, baby, I've been there, done that. I'm going to tell you how he cleaned me up. See, see, that's not being real. We don't want to tell our testimony. We don't want to tell our test that we've been through or either we're still going through. Because we're not in love. We're not in the position that we need to be in, church. We need to unstrap ourselves. We need to tear down tradition. We need to get rid of what grandma told me. What mama told me, what great grandma told me, and I need to look to the hills which come as my help. Because God said, All of my help come from thee. And then I need to ask the Lord, Lord, like I said, well, go show me what you need me to do. Help me, God, to love on you. Help me to get out of this atmosphere of this world and get into your world. Because you said you can't love me and the world. You can't do it. Remember, I'm two masters. You can't serve one. And love doesn't. You're going to either love one, hate one. You can't do it, church. You can't love God and love the world. And love the things in the world. God is so visible that, look here, you just got to love on this air that you see. You will have to get out of your little corner and just get into your spot with Jesus. And say, God, look here, invisible God. You invisible, I can't see you, but your words bring life. Your word I can feel. That's why we need to know God's word. His word, you can feel him. If you don't have no word in you, you can't do nothing. David said, my cup runneth over. Hey, why David cup runneth over? David, while he was out there in the field, Oh, I imagine he danced before he danced out his clothes. I imagine he danced out there with the Lord and all oh, and just gave God some praise uh, and worship him and only him. And Lord, I thank you for defeating the bear and the lion. Uh, God, I thank you because it could have took me over. See, see, that's getting outside of yourself. I thank you, Lord. And we don't have to go far. We can go to our own little private closet and find out. Well, they ain't got to go there. You can just go where, where you are today and, and just say, look back over you. Oh, Jesus, I thank you. I could have been dead as a little girl. I was so sick, my grandmother told me as a little girl that the devil tried to take me out early. But my grandmother, Sister Eula, she told my mom, leave her right here. The best place she could have could have left me. Love nourished me back together. Ah. See, see, that's what God will do for you. When you love on God, he will nourish you back together.
See, see, it's something about hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, God, I give you praise. See, it's something about opening your mouth. Uh, remember he said, in your words there is life. The reason some of us died because we never speak life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, I give you praise. I magnify your holy name. For you alone are God. When I look back through the generation, you said you were the creator. When I look at the end of the book, you said that you are Alpha and Omega, that you're the beginning and the ending. You said, God, that you are Lord and King. You said that you are a wonderful counselor. You said you are friend with your friendless. You said you're a lawyer when I need one. You said. You said. You said when I need you, seek for you. I will find you. You said. Your word don't go out and come back for. You said these things. So if I speak life, that's what I'm getting back. Life. Because I'm fell in love with Jesus. I know him as more than Mary, little baby boy. I know him as more than hanging on the cross for me. Oh God, I thank you for hanging on the cross for me. But you more than just hanging on that cross. You did come down off that cross. You were buried for three days. Uh, you did defeat Satan. Uh, you did go to hell and, and defeat Satan for little old me. Uh, then you come back and you said you had all power. All power. Of heaven and earth. And nothing else in between now. So when I talk to you, uh, I only talk to nobody else. When you close the door, the case closed. All right. Just because I know you. Just because you love me. Just because I love on you. Get to know him, church. Get into your secret place. Turn your some music on in your car. Turn it as high as you can get it. And just love on God. Worship him. Maybe I guarantee you won't be the same when you got in the car. When you get out, you'll be like, woo, woo. I can go in this work store. How you doing? How you doing? Ah, good. Yeah, Lord. So what's wrong with you? you God got some light on you. Yeah, I got some. But stay away from me. You get you. It's patchy. There's a glow come about you. When you fall in that secret place of the most high and abide under the shadow of the almighty. When you know who he is. Yeah, when you know. When you know who you know. I'm a strong tower. Thank God for my family. My family run into you. But I'm the one that's going to pull them out and say. So, I thank God. My mom had surgery this week. We didn't know my uncle was going to have an open heart surgery Friday. But I talked to my aunt and I told my aunt, she aunt called me. This is Martha from Pilgrim Rich. Y'all know him. And he said, my cousin, my very dear first cousin, we like sisters. She lost her kid. Well, she didn't matter of fact, losing her kid. And she got her shock it on. I had to speak some life. Amen. But my aunt called me. Okay, and what you want? She said, I need some prayer. Okay, prayer you get. And she said, you know, I'm nursing too. I said, no, you ain't nursing too. You just stop doing what the Lord called you to do. Amen. Let them know that, hey, the God that we serve has more power than any doctor Amen. you can ever see. Amen. See, 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 you have to speak life into a situation. Amen. Quit looking at the circumstances as though it is. God said, you've got enough power to change the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Lord. Mama told me the other day I went to church in Dangerfield. She said, Sister Griffin, I just love to see you walk through those doors. It's just something about me. You just, oh, I go, Sister Griffin, in the house. I said, baby, it's just me. Glory. Yeah. I mean, didn't look on me, boy. She said, yeah, but the nothing that you have on you, you just don't know. She said, when you come up in a building, it has to go live. 
it has to catch on fire. I said, baby, you got that same thing. Yes, you do. It ain't just for me. You think God just gave it to me? He said, stop for the giving. You want to reach out there and get it. You have not because last night. I ain't no better than you. But I don't mind praising him. I don't mind worshiping him. I know that I'm a soldier on the battlefield. I got my armor on. I got my breastplate on. I got the righteous in my mouth. I'm ready to speak what does say the Lord. I'm ready to call those things as though they are that they are. See, because why? Because I have the power and authority within me. Because I have loved on God. Yeah. And I know it. My God. All we got to do, church, is love on him. Get to know him. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. He tell us not to be ashamed. If you're ashamed of me, I'm going to be ashamed of you. Before my father. Get that, church. If you are ashamed of me, I'm going to be ashamed of you. Before my father. If you can't praise me now, don't think you're going to praise me later. If you can't say hallelujah now, don't think you're going to say hallelujah later. If you can't love on him now, don't think you're going to love on him later. If you can't tell God, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God, I give you praise. I magnify your holy name. And let somebody know what you got down in your tongue. Then if you can't do it on this side, don't think you're going to go on that side. Because he's going to say, for I know you not. Depart from me. Back of iniquity. You've done all those things. But you didn't do it from your heart. You didn't do it because you love me. You didn't give me praise. I, I, I. The devil is a lie. I never hear you say I. I ain't got nothing. Don't own nothing. But the God that I'm with own more than 100,000 people. So all we got to do, church, is learn to love on God. That's a commandment that you love me with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind, your strength. Huh. And when you need some strength, Sister Burma, and you feel like you ain't got none, here you ought to look around. <laughs> Don't be scared to plug your, plug your spirit into somebody else. Mm. I need some praise. Uh, I need some I need some help. He said because he made us help us one to another. See, God didn't leave us down here alone. Don't let the devil think you're by yourself. You ain't got no help. Don't let him tell you that the devil is a lie and the father of lies. So if you need something, call on us. That's what we say in this chapter. You need us calls. He don't call me, baby. I don't know what you need. You can't come fussing me. I was such a Griffin, brother. Why y'all didn't show up? But did you call us? That's our guy. Like call us. And now if you call me, I don't show up. Something wrong. But if you don't call me, don't come fussing to me when I walk through the gates. <laughs> see, see. I mean, and that's the way the Lord thinks. If you don't call on him, when you get to hell, don't say, Lord, you and y'all look for you, Mom. He said, well, I didn't hear you call because I record everything that comes out your mouth. Yes, 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 yes. God love us, church. And all we got to do is love on him. Love on him.
this lovely choir and the service Brother Green is rendering. I just thank you. Thank you for coming. I, I just, I really, you know, when you do feel sunny in the past day hen, you'd be good to have a hen food. Amen. But I thank you for coming and uh, just listening to me. I, I thank God for you. But church, really, truly, learn to love on God. It is such a important thing. It's just not words. It's a commandment that you love God. Love God. I can't, like I said, I'm not Reverend Roberts. I can't come back with once you learn how to love.